Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to work with JaxRS client. And I will just introduce the JaxRS client, JaxRS2 client. And to do this, I will just create a very simple Maven project, uh, JaxRS client. And I will use the uh, jersey, the reference implementation, to demonstrate to you how, how it works. So I will need a dependency in this project and the uh, jersey dependency so i just created jax rs dep here a simple uh, dependency what you actually need is jersey client um, the json implementation i will probably demonstrate in a later uh, episode of uh, of the screencasts and this is the binding between the uh, jax rs client and the and the json api okay so now let's start with uh, a jury test um, air hex test and the packages com air hex finish so as you can see it is absolutely test driven so there is nothing and we start with test so net, what that means did just added a uh, journey test and uh, so let's start so what I uh, sometimes do I using I'm, I'm using JaxRS for system testing so um, a test of JaxRS um, interfaces. So before I will have to start with a client builder, new client. So you can use also a new uh, builder, you can pass then configuration. So what I get back is the client. So you can remember the client if you like. And then um, what we need is a target this is a link so I will just test my site so it doesn't even have to be a Java e application on the other side so it can be whatever you like airhex.com so this is the uh, workshop page and I would like to remember the web target and I call it sometimes target under test so and then can, can we say uh, is Java EE workshop and what you can do you can say hey target I need a request and I can pass the media type and this time I would like to have um, t uh, text HTML is there some oh, we just can do it text HTML and then I can fetch it a string get. I can just pass the class I'm interested in. And this is going to be just a plain string. I could also use JSON, but in my case, it's just plain HTML. So JSON will not work. Um, so this is the content. And let's say, let's check whether this is actually my site. So I search true uh, content. Uh, contains Java. So this is easy verification and assert true, false, content contains, let's say, Scala. So I do not offer Scala courses. Let's see. Test. Nice. Everything is green. So, and uh, what you can also do, you can do it in async way. So then you have to pass an invocation callback. Uh, async invocation. And this is going to be a test. Another test. Public method. And what you can do, this um, request. This is very the same. Request media type is... Uh, text HTML and then uh, async and now I can pass an invocation callback so let's try this a new invocation callback of type string and I will have to implement this callback so there are actually two methods failed and completed so completed is this method we are interested in and what I get here it's the, the content of the 
of the page. And uh, yeah, so let's print it out. Response. Okay, and then we have to wait a little bit, otherwise the uh, unit test will complete before we actually see anything. So, thread sleep was a problem here. Request async and get. This was the problem. And we also forgot plus. So now it looks better. And of course, we cannot sleep. Interactive exception. So let's see whether it actually also works. So this should be always green. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the content of the page, Java A hex. So thank you for watching and see you at one of upcoming conferences, workshops, EHX, and uh, EHX QA. This is the mon monthly show up and where you can ask me questions about Java EE. So thank you.